Either I cut the hours for deluxe bag, but wait, deluxe, right? It needs more time. And I probably can't do that without affecting the quality. Or I increase the profit, so I charge more. Yeah. But then, of course, you might find that, hey, that's not true in the finishing case. Deluxe bag, you know, it has outsourced uh, all the outsourced production of uh, very delicate and luxurious looking packages. So finishing for us just takes uh, very little time. Just put the bag in and that's it. So it's taking very little uh, finishing time. And why should we increase the profit by too much? You know, something like that. So you cannot be looking at the numbers and start to justify them as if you were Excel. You are not Excel. You don't want to compete with Solver. So what we are going to do is we'll try to increase the profits. Remember? Uh, because the profits for whatever production hours is uh, relative uh, amount of hours that Deluxe Bag takes up, it is not attracting enough profit per bag. That's why even common sense tells us uh, maybe it's not a good idea, right? So we set it to zero. But we don't want the optimal solution to be zero. Ha! Huh, this is where reduced cost comes in. Reduced cost on the mathematical model says if you don't want to see zero in the optimal solution, what must you do? You go to the corresponding coefficient of that decision variable for which you don't want to see zero in the optimal solution. You must reduce minus this amount by the reduced cost amount. All right. Then when you solve it again, you will get non-zero or positive uh, solution as an optimal solution. So when we look at the sensitivity report, right, we see the 10, 9, 12.85 everything and we get the final value zero right and then now we see a reduced cost that is non-zero and more kind of surprisingly it is negative but negative reduced cost is not surprising because look excel is telling us i'm going to tell you not to produce any deluxe bag but if you want it to be positive if you still want to produce deluxe bags you better increase your profits per bag. Sounds common sense, right? Increase by how much? You must increase by $1.15 or more so that it is more lucrative, so that it is profitable enough for us to start making deluxe bags. How do I get $1.15? I thought it's negative. Uh, well, because the definition, all right, the definition of reduced cost is 9 minus. That minus is by definition. All right, so it is going to be 9 minus negative 1.15 right so the first minus is by definition reduced cost is always number in the coefficient minus automatically by definition the bracket ensures that we just copy and paste whatever value is found in the reduced cost column all right so this happens to be negative and we need to stick it in so that 9 minus negative becomes 9 plus and we get the number that is desirable that is make sure the profit per deluxe bag sold is ten dollar fifteen cents or more before we consider it lucrative to produce the deluxe bags now to test our understanding let's do this notice that it is one dollar fifteen cents point zero zero two seven cents more in other words if we merely increase nine to ten dollar fifteen cents excel in its infinite precision calculation should not consider it sufficient right it is still slightly mildly negative in terms of profit so excel should still reject the notion to to produce uh deluxe bags so uh we should still still expect deluxe bag to be zero okay so let's test that now first of all let's test ten dollar 14 cents yeah so it's one cent shy of the recommended amount so let's show that, uh, show the decimal places. Okay, now if we solve this, what do we expect? Just to make sure that we see some new optimal solution. When we solve it, now first thing first, we see no change in the optimal solution. Okay, shouldn't be surprising because we are one cent shy of the recommended amount. Let's call out the new sensitivity report. Okay, so in this sensitivity report two here, it's new based on the timing. You see that the coefficient has been 
updated to our latest uh, value 10.14 and the reduced cost is uh, also updated to reflect our new understanding right that the current value is zero if you want it to be positive you better reduce 10.14 by this negative amount of one cent and 0 0.0027 cents at least right so increase it by that amount or more and that makes perfect sense because the absolute amount that excel knows is 10.150027 dollars so it hasn't changed that recommendation it is uh, updating both sides so that the total value the total amount that is required is still the same that's very right very true so by that measure it means that if we now set to 10.15 not enough, right? A little bit shy of the required amount. We just do a quick test because we can uh, and we want to verify our understanding. So let's erase this and uh, so that we can be sure that we are actually seeing new updated solution. So let's solve it. Okay. And we see no change in the optimal solution. And if we call out the newly updated solution uh, sensitivity report this time, we see that we have the updated coefficient and the recommended reduced cost amount which is 0.000027 exactly that tiny little uh, uh, portion of a cent that we uh, missed so therefore we just need to set it to 10.16 and what happens we should see that excel recommend to us to produce some amount of deluxe bags now Sometimes when Excel does that, because we have changed this, it might also recommend that you stop producing small bag or large bag or something else, right? So that's okay because all we are after is to make sure we get positive value in the optimal solution for D, not requiring other variables to observe any other constraint. So uh, for that matter, let's try to solve it again. And this time round, we see that uh, Excel found a solution and this time round D is indeed positive and because the other amounts are or the other bags small and large bags they are they are operating on numbers are such that they are also lucrative so Excel says it's best to uh, have your production schedule this way let's call out the latest sensitivity report report 4 and we see that Excel cleverly tells us there's no more adjustment because all the values are positive. Okay, does it make sense now? Okay, so just don't get confused by the title called reduced cost and everything will be clear. It just operates it this way. It tells us how uh, to ensure, all right, upfront ensure that our optimal solution for a particular uh, decision variable will be positive. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to adjust the objective coefficient. By how much? By the reduced cost amount. Okay, so that's as simple as that uh, in terms of how we use the reduced cost.